Previously on Starbase Summaries, <laughs> we're still working on that multi-language track. Y'all, not fixed by YouTube yet, but check this out. You can tell that Jack uh, got a new drone because of all the drone footage that you're seeing in here. Now, of course, we get this question every time down in the comments. Uh, Jack playing or paying special attention to TFRs and keep out zones and apparently sand dunes. So he doesn't run into any sand dunes there. Very cinematic shot there, Jack. Uh, but getting some new angles that are honestly really freaking cool here in the Starbase Summary, and you'll see them everywhere else as well. There's a shout out at South Padre Island, which is actually north of this camera position, and a ship making a U-turn, or it's very west pirouette there in the ship channel. See the little triangles there at the bottom left of the screen? I oh, will just zoom in for you. That is the hot staging ring. Not the first time we've seen that. There were some presentations that had uh, featured this as well. I guess maybe featured is the wrong word. But here in the factory windows at night, you can really get some detail as exactly how that thing comes together. And it's crazy how those stainless steel pencil looking things uh, support the entire mass, the entire weight of the ship on top of the stack. You can see the dome there. You see the big curve in the middle as well of the top of the booster and uh, that hot staging ring is the other part. Now here, this is not drone footage. This is actually footage from an aircraft. Uh, Jack and Caesar, I believe, I'm pretty sure Caesar was there, went up in a plane to get some views. Of course, the full analysis of this comes out on Starbase Update where they freeze frame and zoom in on images and mark up things. But uh, here are some aerial shots of Massey's that will be fully analyzed. 18.1 test tank there, the jail, the nose cone jail. There's the wreckage coming up on the right-hand side there, largely cleaned up. Um, the big pit area, you see that pit area? That looks like they're going to be putting some stuff underground. And then there's the old crab stand, the ship static fire stand that was destroyed. Check out those tanks as well. Hop back if you need to. Uh, rewind a little bit and look at the... Uh, it's not charring, I guess. Also, on the right-hand side, there's a crane lying down. Yeah, there we go. We're going to enhance on that. But uh, there's the marshmallow tanks. You don't really want them to be marshmallow tanks. And then that crane that has tipped over. We had a little bit of footage of that. Did not get any reports of injuries. Uh, just being very uh, careful with the recovery there. Also, I hope they leave that red semi-truck there at the exit of the flame trench for the first static fire. Got a couple things in the shot here. Uh, middle right of your screen, that's that Rio West development. Uh, mixed use shopping and stuff. Hope maybe open to the public. Hadn't been confirmed yet. And then up at the top, you saw some of the private residents that were built there for SpaceX employees along the river. Here, we're going back to a wide shot of the whole production facility. And then we're going to zoom in on the storage side, the Sanchez yard there. Two mega bays. They look small <laughs> in this image. Parking lot is there, you can see, because it's got the cars on it. And then here's the Star Factory. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the Star Factory, which is basically a big white roof with air conditioners on top. You've got some, <laughs> in, that, in, in that view, <laughs> right? Uh, got some new construction happening there. Not sure exactly what's going to end up there. Maybe we'll have that in the Starbase update. Make sure you're following along and you have the notifications turned on so you can catch up with the full analysis that comes out on Mondays. Also hopping over to the launch site, the twin two towers there. Hopper's in the view as well. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to bunch in, punch in a little bit. Pad 2, you can see it's flame trench there with the dual exits going sort of up into the right and down into the left and the square with a circle in it. Launch mount number 2. That looks like a... Oh, maybe that's not a photo. Is anybody walking around? Is that live? I'm trying to see if anything is moving. Certainly we haven't faked it sort of waving around a little bit. It's like a static image that we made wave. Now I think that's a video. Uh, we do try to get a lot of video. Usually when we fly, we'll, s we'll try to get two people up there. Uh, one person focused on stills that can get a little bit higher resolution shots, and the other one focusing on video that's a little bit more interesting for videos as we're going through and analyzing things. But this is on the other side of the ship channel. This is that uh, liquid natural gas facility. I would love to see the footprint of this and the footprint of Starbase because this place is massive. It, 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 there's so many cranes at that LNG worksite where they're constructing that place. It, 
They have a lot of cranes. You think SpaceX has cranes? I, that place has cranes. We're prepping for this. We talked about this before when we were talking about modifications to uh, the first launch mount so they can static fire a ship there. But first, we're going to jump back over. Oh, look at the top. That line popped. No kidding. Is that, is that going to be hydraulic fluid? I wonder what would be on that line there. It seems like it is, it's sort of waving around. It seems like it shouldn't be hydraulic fluid in a loose line like that, but are they pumping some sort of lubricant down or something? All right, here, look, we're going to get some shots and remove that line. Y'all going to have to help me out on this one with this big drilling rig. I wonder what that, because that line looks like it expands and, you know, it goes up and down with it. It, it didn't look like it was uh, a concrete or cement or anything like that, right? It, hmm, I don't know. I will take some help on that one, y'all. But looks like they got it fixed and got right back to work. That big line that sort of goes up and down. Spring a leak. Those things are cool. All right, so here, back to the crane. This is what I was starting to talk about before we hop back to the production site. Uh, the big crane rolled over to the first launch pad, got hooked up with some rigging, and then came on down to get hooked up to the static fire adapter. Now, this again, it's not the trailer. It's behind the trailer. Um, this again is the adapter that they are fitting to the launch mount so that they can put a ship directly on the launch mount. Launch mount not designed to connect to a ship. It only connects to the bottom of a booster and they're not the same, right? And so here they've made this little contraption and uh, they're carrying it up, lifting it up with the crane. They're gonna swing it over and they're going to uh, put in an adapter on the orbital launch mount here so that it becomes the ship static fire stand. For a second there, you got a little, <laughs> don't, don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> The little tiny ring and then the big lunch mount. We probably shouldn't title the video that. I think sometimes we're having a little fun with the video titles and people just don't understand what we're talking about unless you're already a Starbase Super fan. I don't know. I'm I'm open to ideas for videos down in the comments or ideas for video titles down in the comments. All right. Ah, some lines that did not come up the main back part, but seem to be tied into the plumbing underneath the OLM, I don't know, what do you call it, skirt, decking, whatever that is, and uh, going up around the outside there to tie into the rest of the system that'll be on that QD plate structure we have been watching get installed. But, got it from a couple different angles. There you can see the skeletal frame. We still think that's going to get uh, enclosed somehow. But, uh, honestly, remember it might not. Because here the ship is not supposed to take off and pass that. I also saw some comments down in the previous video about whether or not that is going to move out of the way. And I think same answer there. During the static fire, you don't have to disconnect quickly or otherwise the uh, the the disconnects from the ship the ship is just supposed to stay there right as opposed to a launch where the booster takes off and just washes this whole place with flames that shouldn't happen during a static fire unless you're in china that's a different story we did a video on it um but here uh, maybe this doesn't need to be as protected because the ship flames are all supposed to go down through the middle of the mount and go into the upside down showerhead deluge system, uh, the water feature there, and not actually hit the top decking, get deflected into any of the piping or anything like that that they've put in. So I guess we'll see. That's what it turns out to be a lot of times here at Starbase. But all of the focus is on getting this ready. If you haven't been keeping up, right now SpaceX is sort of blocked. They cannot finish the testing of the ships after the destruction of the test stand at Massey's, right? With massive damage. Some people have been arguing with me, oh, it wouldn't destroy it. I mean, I don't know. You can't put a ship on it and test anything. So whichever way, they can't complete the testing campaigns for the ships out at Massey's right now. They're rebuilding it. And so they've been adapting that OLM so they can put a ship there and finish its static fire and testing campaign. There's a SpaceX drone. They built a huge landing pad for it there. Also looks like a turning circle. I guess that's just like smack dab in the middle of the road where they're landing that uh, in the turning circle there. I wonder if Jack has like drone envy. Um, I don't know. Jack's been having a lot of fun with that new drone he got. So in any of... Oh, don't, oh no! Go around it! 
They need cones or something. They need something to be like, hey, there's a freaking drone here in the middle of the road. Maybe the, the orange lines, the yellow lines are good enough for that. Got some tank farm testing here. Um, just running things, blowing out the pipes, cooling things down. You can see frost on the outside of a bunch of piping there and stuff. Uh, making sure... Well, you know something? Do you see frost on pipes or are those pipes faded white? Because those flanges are very silver. Huh. I mean, that happens to me somewhere. I'm like, wait a second. I don't think that pipe is normally white. Did that get painted white since the last time I've seen it? Or is that actually ice or frost? In any event, uh, blowing out, I guess not the carbon, but blowing out the pipes there, making sure that tank farm is ready to support the ship static fire operations as well. Back to pad two. Work has been ongoing here. You thought that lifting the orbital launch mount, uh, or just lifting the launch mount, let's say, onto the legs was most of the work. Nah, then they got to plumb it all out, and they have been working on that for quite some time. The connection points down here. We also saw some new parts of the flame deflector, sort of the sides and stuff that have all sort of taken shape down underneath this shot. Why am I talking about that? You can't see it in that shot. Whatever. It's just the neuron that fired when I started to think about this. Folks taking tools down the stairs there. All right, this is going to run us all the way back up to the production site, and it's just labeled parts. I'm trying to squint down to 2010 and figure out. Now, there's a big hook thing on the right-hand side. This is the sort of thing where we, when they get into that flyover analysis on Starbase Update coming up in two days here, uh, they're probably doing that full analysis right now. There's the booster transport stand. Been sort of hanging out over at uh, gate A1. That's the first gate on your left-hand side as you come up to the production site. And then Caesar's going to run all the way back out to Massey's again to check out the 18.1 test tank here as well. Uh, most of the focus at Massey's right now is cleanup of the debris. So not seeing a lot of work with that. Now there's a, a storage tent, a shade tent. I love the shipping container walls. Gives you some sense of scale for how big that, let's call it a shade structure is. But in any event, folks, thank you for hanging out. It's a Starbase summary. We watch the video, we talk about what is going on, what we observe in the video, we get the full analysis for you once a week on the Starbase updates. So make sure you're following the channel here and have the notifications on so you don't miss that. Appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you nerds later.